Hey guys, uh, pardon the glare in the background. There we go. Maybe we can get it to hold right there. Um, Psalms 127 verse 1. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain. Mm. They labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Amen. Without the Lord. Amen. Without the Lord building the house. In other words, allowing and having the help of the Lord, the Holy Ghost to do the work of God, not only in the house of God, the church, but in our everyday life. Without his help, we're building in vain. There is no foundation without Jesus Christ in our lives. But he goes on, he said, even the watchman, the Old Testament prophets, Ezekiel was definitely one of them that was called a watchman. If you go to the third chapter of Ezekiel, you'll find where he said to Ezekiel, O son of man, be thou a watchman. I have called you to be a watchman. You are to look and warn people of their sin. You are to warn people. And if you warn them and they do nothing about it, they regard not your words or warning, then the blood is off of your hands. You've done all you can do. You preach your message, and that's all you can do. But if you don't preach it, Ezekiel, their blood will be upon your hands. I will require their blood upon thy hands. And so I don't want to be one of those people. I want to do what God says in this last day, and I want to minister to people be a witness and encouragement in every possible way I can to get people to this glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. And when we stand before God, our Father, he'll say, well done, thou good and faithful servant, because we allowed him to help us build our life and build our church and build our friendships and connections, and we got more people into the kingdom of God. Thank God for it. I hope that you're building with the Lord today. I hope that you're building upon the only sure foundation, and that's Jesus Christ and him crucified. Amen. I hope you got blessed by this, and I pray that God will help you to keep building and be rooted and grounded in him.